Welcome to this video about how to create tickets for SSO with ClickSense and Node.js. The first thing we will do is go into the Click Management Console, or QMC. In the QMC, go to Certificates. We will add a machine name, Windows 2012, and add in a password for the certificate. Click on Export Certificate when you are done. When that is done, it is a good idea to take the certificate to the machine where you want to perform your Node.js installation. This part is not necessary if your Node.js and ClickSense server are running on the same server, but in this example, they are running on two different servers. I will go into the server, and here I paste in the path to the certificate. Then find the machine name you just created and copy the client.pfx file. Go back to the machine where you have your node.js solution, create a new folder on the C drive, Call it node and paste in the client.pfx file in that folder. Let's jump back to the QMC and we will go in and do some more configuration. Go back to the start menu and go to virtual proxy. We now want to create a virtual proxy that will be used for authentication. Create a new virtual proxy and call it custom. I will call it the same in the prefix and we also need to have a special session cookie header name for the ticket. I'll call that x-click-session-ticket. I will add in the load balancing node and press apply. Confirm the dialog box. Now we have associated items on the right-hand menu. Click on Proxies and then click on Link in the bottom and link it to the central proxy service like this. It will now tell us that it has to restart and confirm that this is OK. When that is done, go to Virtual Proxies and we see that we now have two virtual proxies. We will come back to this later when we have done a little more on the Node.js side. Open up PowerShell or a DOS prompt and go into our node directory to check that we have the certificate there. It looks fine. Let's do an npn install click auth and that will download the click auth module for us. We should be ready to use that in just a second. When we look in the node directory, we should now have a node underscore modules directory. Go back to the root and here I create a notepad named index.js, except to create this. Within that file, paste in the snippet that is provided with this video. This will work out of the box if you are running the Node.js server on the same server as the ClickSense server. If you have a certificate exported with a password, or if you are running it on a different server than the Sense server, then you will have to include that line. I'll add this into the code. This one will not take the option parameter, it will just assume that you are running it from a ClickSense server. I will rim this line out and unrim this line, where you can see that we have an extra parameter where the options variable is added. Now I have to remember to put in the password phrase I exported, and in my case I called it test test. Save the file and close it. 
Now I will try to run it with node index.js. This shows us that on port 1337, we are running this website and we can check that. It says missing parameter, which is fine because it expects to know where the ClickSense server is. We don't even have to put that in. Just copy the URL and go back into the virtual proxies in the QMC and open the virtual proxy we created earlier. Under authentication, you will find the redirect URL. And here you paste in the URL website where your node.js is running. Apply this. I'll go back and access my ClickSense environment, but with the virtual proxy. Now we can see that it will automatically take you to the authentication module. We come in as a click demo user, which was specified in the file. If we look at the index.js, we can see that user credentials are exactly what we got for authentication. So in this way, you can control the whole security with user directory, user ID, and with attributes like group or whatever other attributes you desire. This is how ticketing is done with ClickSense and Node.js. Thanks for watching.